All right, so I'm recording this. Okay. Um, so remind me on the dates. When was the right knee replaced? That, that one was like the second or third of July. July, and then the left one? And the left one was clear back in March. Okay, and the right one's been crackling and crunching and grinding underneath the kneecap. Right. Okay. For like a week or two. For about two weeks. Yeah. So one of the things that could re could be contributing, I've got it. Okay. Is we want to measure the alignment. So this is the Q angle. The Q angle is the difference between the hip to the knee to the ankle. Okay. Uh, we always measure flexion extension. Right. But Q angle is really important because that's going to dictate what the how the patella, the kneecap is going to move so that's 15 degrees on the right let's put the other leg up and so the q angle here and it's not so much important what it is it's about 10. so it's a sharper angle on the right yeah. which is the knee that's cracking for you a lot more. Let's go ahead and put the right one back up there. Let's do the straight leg raises while you're sitting there. So the right one is crackling, cracking a lot more. Right. Um, what I don't know, because I wasn't seeing you before today, was did something change in the alignment from the hip to the knee to the ankle? Okay. If, you know, for whatever reason, the, the alignment, that Q angle increased, then the kneecap is going to be gliding kind of more on the edges a little more, and you're going to get a lot, a lot more of that crackling under the kneecap. Okay. Um, could be something going on at the hip. So musculature at the hip, through the low back, or it could be something at the ankle. If, if the, the low back. Like absolutely. So as the low back issues, which you have a history of low back problems, yeah keep keep doing the leg raises as the low back issues maybe alter how the the musculature around the hip is working maybe something at the foot and ankle as the the alignment the q angle changes the grinding under the kneecap may potentially change okay so in therapy we'll just monitor today's day one okay we've got measurements we'll continue to kind of observe what it does over the next couple of days and weeks and we'll see if it changes anything in the the sensation you're getting the cracking grinding underneath the kneecap okay but in the meantime i would hold off on the exercises that produce a lot of that patellar compression okay. so like no hydraulic knee extension um, if the bike doesn't bother you, keep doing the bike, the elliptical, the arc trainer, as long as it's not doing like a ton of that crunching. Yeah. Because it's not painful when it crunches. It's right. a nuisance crunch. Um, perfect. But anything that, that increases the grinding crunching, we don't want to do for right now. Okay. Okay.